What's the difference between probation and parole? To an attorney, these are very distinct concepts and easily distinguishable. But the terms get interchanged a lot whenever we talk to potential clients or even current clients. And it's important that you understand the difference so that when you're talking to an attorney, you're getting the right answer or the answer that you're looking for because you're using the right terminology. Probation and parole may feel like the same thing in the sense that they are both supervised, but how they play a role in whatever new criminal offense you could get wrapped up in is very different. The biggest difference between a probation sentence and parole is one occurs prior to any formal prison sentence and one occurs after. So probation is a type of sentence. If you are on probation, it means that your prison sentence is probated. Or if you're in a misdemeanor world, it means your county sentence is probated. It's a type of sentence that you would receive after you have admitted guilt, either by a plea of guilty or being found guilty. It can be deferred adjudication, which is a special type of probation that if you were to complete, the case would be dismissed. Or it can be straight probation, which means that the result ends in a conviction, but you don't serve actual time. Now, probation would be something court ordered for you to do. You could be court ordered to report regularly to a probation officer. You could be court ordered to attend education classes or other conditions that could further rehabilitation. You could be court ordered to stay away from any individuals who could be listed in the initial complaint. If you are on probation and you pick up a new offense, you could be facing a probation revocation. A probation revocation means that the state would file a motion to adjudicate if you're on deferred adjudication or a motion to revoke if you're on probation and try to sentence you to county or state jail or prison time depending upon your level of offense. Parole is something that happens after a sentence. If you were sentenced to prison time, for example, you could be eligible for parole. And what that means is early release from the prison sentence itself. So for example, if you received a four year sentence and it was for a non 3G or non aggravated offense, you could be eligible for parole or early release when your actual time plus your good conduct time equals one quarter of what your actual sentence was. And if the Pardon and Parole Board approved your application and determined you were eligible for parole, then you could be released, but you'd still be supervised by your parole officer. That officer at a very basic level is going to need to know where you are, what you're doing, and that you're not engaged in criminal activity. It may feel like probation in the sense that you're being supervised, but it's not. It's not gonna carry the same conditions. And it certainly means something very different to an attorney who you're talking to about what your potential resolutions to a case could be. If you're on parole and you pick up a new offense, you could be facing a parole violation or a parole hold. And that means you would have to answer to the pardon and parole board before you could be released from custody. And you could face with having to serve the remainder of your sentence in custody based upon a new offense. What's most important is that whether you're on probation or parole, you let your attorney know so they can adjust accordingly and strategize to try to keep you out of custody. Well, I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions, feel free to comment below. Again, my name is Anna Somerset. I'm one of the partners here at Varghese Somerset Law Firm. Thanks for watching.